Well, in the runoff election last weekend, many of the candidates got the win that they were hoping for. But one race in St. Landry Parish is still not settled. An Opelousas Alderman race between John Gilbo and Victor Lewis ended in a tie with each candidate receiving 224 votes apiece. News 10's Dawson D'Amico spoke with the St. Landry Parish Clerk of Court, Charles Jagno, about what happens next. City of Opelousas Alderman District A race between John Gilbo and Victor Lewis ended in a tie at 224 votes apiece. St. Landry Parish Clerk of Court Charles Gilbo says although this is a rare circumstance, it is not the first time something like this has happened in the parish. There was the same thing that happened in Port Barry about 25 years ago in a mayor's race. They tied twice. They had the regular election they tied and they tied in the in the, the uh, runoff election. So what they did after two of those, they decided to flip a coin. Jagno says although a coin toss is a possibility, he does not think it will be necessary for this race. He says there will be a special election for the race on December 16th. It, what's interesting about it, they can obtain a list of the people who did not vote or who voted in the election. And as I understand it, one of them's aunt did not vote. So it's going to be a tough Thanksgiving. <laughs> <laughs> With a very low voter turnout this year at around just 30 percent, Jagno advises everyone to participate in this special election. This tie is a good demonstration of every vote counts. One more vote would have made one or the other the candidates a victor. And it's, like I said, it's important to everybody to go out and vote. Turnout is very important mm -hmm. because we need a lot of help in St. Landry Parish and the only way we're gonna get it is to show up and vote. In St. Landry Parish, Dawson D'Amico, KLFY, News 10.